Um, hello, fellow viewers. Good evening and uh, welcome to the show. Um, with me here in the studio today is my co-host, who also happens to be our guest for today's show. So without wasting too much time, let's jump right into it. Good evening, sir, and welcome to the show. Yeah, good evening. Okay. Um, sir, um, before we start, um, some of our viewers might be wondering who you are. So please, can you give them a, a brief introduction of yourself? Yeah, my name is uh, Kovna Ampedu. I'm a Ghanaian. I'm currently in Thailand as a teacher. Oh, that's nice, that's nice. Um, sir, I have always known Ghana as a country that um, produces gold and that also um, have, um, produces a lot of cocoa. And recently, they um, discover oil and gas. So uh, is there something I'm missing that I don't know about Ghana that you might want to tell me? Yeah, let me throw more light on the gold stuff as we just talked about. Currently speaking, Ghana is the largest producer of gold. Right? Apart from gold, we have timber. And uh, most surprising aspect that maybe you've not heard of is Ghana is now a manufacturer of cars. We manufacture cars. And the name of the car is called Kantanka. So we manufacture excellent cars, but very, very affordable. Wow, oh, wow. Oh. So like the cars you mentioned, are they widely used in Ghana? Yeah, they are widely used in Ghana for these transportation purposes. And uh, other companies uh, also get them because it's affordable for the uh, companies to transport them from one place to other than to get these uh, imported cars which comes into the country, which are very expensive. They rather go for the affordable ones made by the country. But let's, uh, for example, about the cars, right? Um, if you were to compare the quality of the cars, does it meet up with the ones from like Japan or from Germany? Yeah, it is well assembled. It, it, it meet up. Although I'll, I'll talk about branding here. You know, the Japan cars, you know, the brand sells a lot because it has been in the system for so long. And of course, when maybe I put a Japan car down and a Ghanaian car down, you're going to choose a, uh, a Japan Chinese car. car. Just, just because uh, the market is a lot on the, on the Japanese car. But when, uh, when you get a Ghana car, the Ghanaian car, you find out that, oh, this is much better. But I think uh, we will get there as time goes on when the brand sells a lot. It's going to even overtake what the Japanese people have, oh, have done. I see, I see. So, but uh, like, even in Ghana, it's widely used by the Ghanaians. Yeah, it's widely used. We have the four-wheel drive, just like the Toyota Fortuna they've been using. We have the Kamtaka four-wheel drive. Uh, we have the salon cars. Yeah, we have almost almost all the cars, just, just like the Japanese and the Korean cars, the same. Oh, that's nice, that's nice. And uh, our next question is, um, talking about oil and gas, right, that uh, I know of many countries that also produce oil and gas, like we have Qatar, we have Saudis, and these countries are very rich country, and the citizens, they have a lot of social benefits. And how has this oil and gas um, improved the life of the local Ghanaians? Uh, the oil and gas have done a lot, you know. Uh, in Ghana, and what uh, the government did was the revenue generated from that was used to fund what we call the free SHS. So we had a free basic education for the country through that uh, discovery of the of the oil, which is really helping because uh, there was a time, you know, when you are a child or something, you have to pay a lot of school fees to get into school, but because we got this oil. Now, every child can just go to school without paying anything, and it's really boosting the educational system in the country. So, like, um, how many years of studies can you go without paying a fee? You, you can go from the basic education, yeah, that's the government level for the basic education to the senior high. Senior high. But I think for the tertiary, you need to pay for it. But that's like, um, give or take, like, almost, almost like, yeah, almost like eight years. Yeah, oh, that's nice, that's nice. Wow. So how do like um, private schools compete with that? Yeah, the private schools markets have really, have really gone down, as you just said, because people will be just running from the private schools to the government school because it's free, you know. 
you know, we Ghanaians, we love everything. Yeah, everyone's loves something, <laughs> Africans in general. Yeah. But uh, I just want to find out, like, how, how is the quality of the education? Because, like, in my home country, Cameroon, we have a similar thing, like, free education, but just for, I think, primary school, yeah, just for basic, yeah. basic education, right? And the people still prefer to send their kids to private school. And they are saying that the public school um, education is not that good. The teachers, they are not that serious in educating the children and so on and so forth. Well, how is the case in Ghana? Yeah, you know, anything free has a lot of problem and crisis. You know. uh, it just began, I think, uh, two years ago, so there are a lot of challenges. Uh, like the, the, the child are not fed well, the children, the students are not fed well. But I think as time goes on, the, the government is putting measures in place uh, yeah. to make it more quality. Uh, I think as time goes on, we will get there.